What's shaking, y'all? So, welcome back to my little playthrough here. And today we're exploring the depths of the hidden labyrinth. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is just go straight along here. And I'm gonna kill these guys because they're a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna get in the way. So, here we have the war path. That room may look deceptively simple, it isn't. This little note says the student of history will find that the path is clear. So let us explore these history chambers. We'll start with the spell archive. Now, if you're using a mage and you have totally forgotten your stuff, and by stuff I mean whatever your spells, the combinations, etc., then this is the place to be. Send more vest there if you happen to need that sort of thing. This place is loaded up with scrolls, and each scroll is going to tell you how to cast a different spell. This is a nice place to be. Also, wonderful textures here. Um, and by textures, I mean these bookshelves. They're not really textures. I'm talking nonsense. First thing of note, put the golden lamp here, and we open this door. Get a shaman stuff, if you happen to want that thing. If you don't, whatever. Scrolls down there, like I said, spells. So, all these tables and whatnot, they are from the cozy dungeon set by Pet. Or Pet. It's P H I T D. Now, this scroll is a little more important than these little spell scrolls all over the place. It tells us that these runic flasks are special. Now, if I add a tar bead like I'd make a normal healing potion, it doesn't do anything. What I needed to add is a mana boosting reagent. And what I get is an arcane potion. Now the arcane potion heals you about 200 health to 50 energy. So that is a combo health and energy potion. And then adding a desert pearl, which of course I've said um, enhances your healing potions, will give us a miracle potion, which does 2500 health and energy. So you can think of that as a full restoration potion. Now when you drink a miracle potion or an um, arcane potion, you will not get a rune flask back. You will end up with an ordinary flask. I know, I've tried to fix that. Change the empty item script so that it um, should generate a rune flask. It just generates the default. So you can see down here more scrolls and stuff. There's a wisdom star here. If you didn't go into the infinite skeleton room on the floor above, then that is where you'd get your wisdom star. It is the key to several things. Ditto with the golden lamp. It's obviously opened up those chambers, but um, it will open up other stuff as well. We still have one more use for it. Wow, that's like nothing okay, else. That's not good. There we go. So there's nothing actually in this room. Scrolls, stuff, etc. Burst in here. Oh, that was lovely. As you can see, nothing much in there. Or is there? Here's a scroll from Sanctuary. He's saying how habitable this uh, habitable this section of the dungeon is. And he's right. It's beautiful down here. It's just it's just lovely. I could live in here. Apart from the cold, the dark, and the monsters. I think it'd be fabulous. Oh, damn. Oh, lightning in the face. So there's a fist dagger here. You can see that there are potion reagents, milkweeds. There is a poignant potion. That will poison you if you drink it, but hey, you might want a flask. This is a scroll that explains, or at least gives you that clue, that you should put that golden lamp on the shelf. It's a hint at that sort of thing. So we can see that there is a special room back there, and that button that I pressed will open a hallway in this room. I told you there was more to this room than meets the eye. Okay, he's just going to shoot stuff at me. I'll put my fire-resistant shield. And let's just wade right in. That's right, you have nothing to me, man. Look at your damage, it's pathetic. Yeah, that was still pretty nasty, so I'll drink that potion. Switch it out for my regular shield. And this is the restricted section. All of these books here, um special, obviously infinite wisdom. The swordsman's manual. 
Winter Codex. Those are special. Those are based on um, scripts by, and forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, Inixanthum, something like that. Um, he wrote those scripts, and I just modified them so that they were the descriptions were more suited to the lore in my little world. So that's that done. So we'll come down here. Now this is the um, lore chambers. This is probably the least important one quest wise. It is a lot of stuff. If you're interested in the world that I've been creating, working on, and I put quite a bit of work into it, this is all the information you'll need on the clans. As you can see here, these are all lore scrolls. They've got a disclaimer on there. I added that recently. It's sort of a, oh, well, I, I don't really have any space in my inventory because I'm carrying all these scrolls. You don't need to carry those scrolls. Oh, yes, assassination. So here's a map that shows us all the Shadow Mary landmarks that can be important to our war path thing. There is a scroll here. That gives you half a hint, this one on the floor, that something on that shelf will open this door. Now, there's another one in the... Um, Master's, master scribe master's chamber and that will tell you that there is more more to the wisdom star it opens secret areas so combine those two and you've got basically your little quest item there so this is the war history chamber now I picked up one of the scrolls back there that you notice that's a more important scroll than all the other scrolls in there I mean the lore is all important if you're interested in that and I certainly hope that you are. But um, quest-wise, that scroll is more important. And if we look at it, you'll see that it doesn't have the disclaimer on it. So that's just to let you know. These two, this is all about the war and the rebellion. It's another important scroll. As Avante is saying, it's a list of the battles of ancient Shadowmere, and it might be useful. The other important scroll, of course, is this one. This is important to the secondary plotline. There's also a Norja axe there, if you haven't been using axes. A secondary plotline, which I was talking about before, that there are three plotlines. What's happening now, what happened to cause the abandonment of the um, sanctuary, and what caused... And, and basically world building. Now I'm taking a very specific path through here. This is war history, so here we have that on one of these scrolls. This is the list of the battles that were fought in ancient Shadowmere and that is basically giving you directions on how to walk through this room. This one, we built our sanctuary in secret, blah blah blah, and that tells you the relationship of the basically is this battle did it take place north, south, east or west of the sanctuary. And that is combine those two and you basically get how to walk through this hallway. If you didn't have that, you get teleported back to the start. So that little scroll, that just helps you get through. There's a sword there, there are shields on the walls. Those are distract you. Those are, uh, maybe I can go for those. And you'll get killed. Oh, well, you get teleported. So we'll cut that end here. And this is the first half of the Hidden Library. Join us, and uh, next time we will do the Scribes Quarters, etc. Look forward to it.